Warriors, we are live from the quarantine. And I am so excited to do this Tabata party with you today because God knows I love Tabatas. So um, we got that going on. If you have a light pair of dumbbells, that would be uh, fantastic for this Tabata. If you don't, if you have a lighter kettlebell, that would be great. Um, and also we can do all of these exercises uh, with body weight. So that is not a problem. Um, uh, for our story of the day, so uh, if you haven't realized it yet, the theme for the month is Aesop's Fables, which is one of my favorite months at Training for Warriors. I just love stories that have animals and they have human-like characters and they're teaching us lessons and they're super fun to tell. And, you know, thousands of years ago, um, they're kind of not really sure if uh, Aesop is an actual person or if it's just like a name that is synonymous with fable. So like a bunch of different authors came up with these, with these different stories and then it just became part of this grouping of Aesop's fables. And um, the, uh, the, one of the most classic ones is the golden goose where there's this countryman and he had came upon this goose that laid golden eggs, one egg a day. And so he took the egg a day and he went to the market and he sold it. And he slowly started to become rich. Well, he became impatient and he wanted to be rich all at one time. So he thought if I open, if I cut open this golden goose, I'll just take all the eggs and I'll sell all the eggs and I'll just be done with this and I won't have to go to market every day. So he did that, looked inside, there were no eggs and he also lost his goose in the process. And um, one of the takeaways that I love about this particular story is that especially with coming back to the dojo after, you know, three months of, of doing remote training or running or whatever you've been doing at home is that we're going to have to pay, be really patient with these slow gains. The, the countryman was not patient with his slow gains and he wanted everything at once. And that's just not going to happen. We're going to have to be kind to ourselves. We're going to have to be really patient with just getting back into it and not rushing. Um, if we rush, you know, it causes injury and, um, and uh, rushing never helps anything. It doesn't help set behaviors. It doesn't help create great uh, building blocks for these gains that we're going to be getting on. Yeah. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get into it and we're going to be doing our warm up with our stretches. Let's get those hips warmed up by doing some hip circles. So we're going to go knee to elbow, out to side, up and back and down. Keeping that leg at a right angle as I'm making these really nice big circles with my knee. Four and five. And we're going to go back the other way. Woo! Every day it feels like. Brand new day with these hip circles. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do some leg lifts. Five. Again, I'm not rotating that hip, keeping that hip down. Alexa, play for the machine radio. All right, knee to elbow, out to side, up and back and down. Four and five. All right, let's get the other way. Alexa, turn it up. Four, five. All right, do those nice little leg lifts. Woo, yeah, feeling it. Four, five. All right, guys, let's go ahead. And our backs. And what we're going to do is we're going to do just a series of knee bridges. So I'm going to put my hands out to the side, push that lower back into the ground, get those feet as close to my butt as possible. I'm going to bring my hips up and then back down. Hips up and back down. Really squeeze, pause at the top, come back down. We're going to do 10 just regular with our knees apart. Taking it slow, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're going to bring our 
knees together, feet out to the side, coming up. You might have a little bit more limited range of motion with this. Squeeze those feet to the top, get that lower back fully on the ground when you come back down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, soles of our feet together, knees fall out to the side, hands out to the side, squeezing those hips up to the ceiling and back down. Give you that nice pause at the top. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job. Get those butts warmed up. All right, so now we're going to sit back on our heels. We're going to push back. Our butt on those heels, we're going to take our, actually I'll take my other hand, and then I'm going to reach through my arm, and I'm going to bring the shoulder down to the ground. Hold it here for a second, try to get that shoulder as close to the ground as possible, and then I'm going to rotate out, come back down, reaching through that arm, rotating. Five times on one side, and then we're going to switch out to the other. So I'm using that other hand to push my butt back to my heels, rotating, rotating, get that shoulder down, two, four, and five. Nice job. All right. So the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to do a pretzel. So I'm going to grab my bottom foot with my top arm. I'm going to grab my top leg with my bottom arm. And then I'm going to try to get this bottom leg as straight out for me as possible. As I look behind me, making sure to keep both those legs in that active stretch when you're pulling on both those legs. Hold it here, trying to get that shoulder, that top shoulder, down to the ground as you look over it. Taking three big breaths in and out, through the nose, out the mouth. All right, now we're going to take it to the other side. So, grabbing that. Bottom foot with that top arm, top leg with bottom with a uh, bottom arm, and then looking over that shoulder. Stretch, 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 pull, pull, pull with those arms and those legs. You should feel a really nice hamstring stretch with this. Really nice quad stretch. Really nice thoracic spine stretch. Four. And ah, great job, guys. All right, so stand up. We're going to do some big shoulder circles. Ten forward. Nine, ten. Let's go ten back. Really feeling those shoulder blades come together at the back. Nine, ten. All right. Let's take our wrists to rotate in one direction. Now let's rotate it the other way. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to just do some prisoner squats. I'm going to put my hands behind my head. I'm going to bring out those feet wider with those toes pointed out. I'm going to come all the way down to death and back up again. So go ahead, give me 10 prisoner squats. So just getting those legs nice and warmed up, really squeezing those glutes at the top. Excellent. 
exhaling at the top. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. So as far as the next part of our warm up is concerned, we're gonna go through each one of the exercises in our Tabata. Make sure that we have all the equipment, get the form all ready to go. So the first thing that we're gonna do is a military crunch with a dumbbell. So if you wanna try the military crunch without the dumbbell before the warm up, that's great, you can do half and half. But what the military crunch is, is my knees are always up, my arms are always straight, and then I'm gonna reach through my legs as I come up, and then back down. Reaching through my legs, and then back down. Now, if you wanna do this with the dumbbell, just go ahead and grab one. Go ahead and give me 10 as far as your warm up is concerned. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and And the next thing that we have is our squat to overhead press. So I'm going to try this with one weight and see how it feels. If you have two smaller weights, that's fine. I come here at my chest. We go into my overhead press and then back up. So squat, sorry, squat to overhead press. There we go. Give me 10 of those. Now, if you have two dumbbells, just make sure you get those elbows in at the bottom, out of the top. It makes it a little bit easier to get those elbows in when I just have one weight. All right. Now I have my lateral lunges. So, if you are in a smaller space, you can do all your lateral lunges on one side and then switch it out to the other side. Right now, I'm going to have you do five on each side. Right? So you can either alternate or you can do all on one side. Now you can hold this in a goblet like fashion, but if you have a couple, you can also go here, you can go into a front rack position with your palms facing in, whichever works for you right now. All right? So go ahead and give me five on each side. Hit that butt, hold to that back wall as you do this. All right, then I have my kneeling overhead tricep extension. So I'm in this kneeling posture. I have my pillow of my body super on, and I'm going to squeeze those triceps at the top for extension with those arms, keeping those elbows in tight to my head, keeping those glutes on. Don't forget those glutes, guys. Go ahead and give me 10. Don't rush it. Really feel this motion. Woo. All right. Now, we have our body saws. Our body saws. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be in this plank position. I'm going to keep my butt down the entire time. I'm going to push back onto my heel, onto my toes, and I'm gonna push forward over those elbows. So I'm gonna go a little bit further below those elbows, and then I'm gonna come back. So what I'm trying not to do is don't let that butt rise as you do it. You're gonna lose all your ab benefits. If you let that butt raise too much. You wanna keep your butt at the same level as your shoulders as you're rocking back and forth. Just step further in those obliques, guys. Go ahead and give me 10. Coach Josh was doing these the other day. He's like, well, they're not that hard. And then he lowered his butt. And it was a burner. So it's super important to get that butt at that same level. Now we're going to go into our RDLs. 
So you can have a couple of weights, fantastic. Or a kettlebell, that's great. So I'm squeezing those glutes at the top as I come over, keeping that back flat, staying in those lats, bringing those hips forward at the top. Really give you a forceful exhale as you bring your pelvis forward. And maybe 10. Feel this in the hamstrings. Got 
this. All 
right, guys, about five seconds left. What a beautiful, cool morning in Portland. Oh, it's so nice. All right, going to my lateral lunges.
going to help you grow up being strong. Both these body sides. Back to our RDLs. All right. Here we go. Like that back wall. Lats are on. Don't lose those lats. Don't hurt that back. Feel this in those hamstrings as you bend over. You feel those hamstrings activate the back of those thighs. Three seconds. Body sides. Here we go. Two, one. Everything's on. Everything's engaged. Three, two, one. All right. Hello, RDLs. Here we go again. Okay, we're just slightly apart. We have a wide stance with this and a more narrow stance. <clears throat> Exhale. Top. Finding yourself to squeeze those glutes. Two, one. Hey. Right. This is my last set of body sides and my last set of body heels. Last set. Last set. Here we go. Keep it strong, guys. Keep it strong. Second. Oh, yeah. Wow. So nice to feel. Those obliques on. All right, here we go. Make these beautiful. Hmm. Left leg to that back ball. Five seconds left. Get some rest, and then we'll get the next set of two exercises. And also, guys, whenever we're doing these Tabatas, you're getting super gassed. When you're doing the workout, delete one of the sets, okay? And just rest a little bit longer. That's fine. What I don't want you to do is I don't want your form to suffer. I'd rather you get rest, especially if you're feeling super gassed, okay? If you're just not able to get air. And also, Always in training for warriors. Never rest like this. Never rest sitting down. Rest standing up. We're in a superhero position. We're in a victory position. We're just making sure that we get that nice posture so we can get as much air into our lungs as possible. This does not help you in any way, all right? So for our next circuit, we're going to do knee grabs and swimmers. Knee grabs, legs are out, arms are in. Roll those arms forward, grab those shins, make sure those feet can be flat at the top, right? So I'm not in this half position, I'm going to make sure I'm fully forward. Keep those shoulders over those hips. Boom. Okay? Then, for the other exercise, we're going into our swimmers. So we're on our bellies, our feet are into the ground, our shoe legs are into the ground. Really reaching forward, pulling those elbows back as I slightly lift. Boom. Okay? Make sure to squeeze those shoulder blades at the top. Okay, I'm going to grab a little bit of water. We're going to go for it. Ha 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 ha. All right. Got my knee grab position. Ready to go. And we're starting in three, two, one. So guys, you want to go faster. You want to go faster. You guys, is definitely something to test for training for warriors. Do a three minute test, a one minute test, to see how many you can do. And then period of time, pull it over on 
her bellies. This is a bit tighter. Ready? Going for it. So, bring those elbows down, those hips. Really reach forward. Really pull in that air. Feel like you're at water going through. Fingers sway in here. Oh, Four knee reps. Okay, three, two, one. Seven and seven. And then what we're going to do 
is we're going to go into our calf raises. So same thing. We're going to have our feet more narrow. Just from the floor, we're going to do seven calf raises with our feet straight. And then we're going to take our feet out, point, point our toes out. Really want you to concentrate on getting that weight into that big toe so you're not rolling your heel, your ankles out. Right? And then you're going to bring your toes in. We're going to do seven times this way. All right? So, what we're going to do is 21 gun salute with our arms, 21 gun salute with our calves, turning our calves into cows, as we like to say. And here we go for it. All right? Here we go. Let's start from the top down. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Now, bottom up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and full curls. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Now, you can do your calf raises with the weights. But I actually have to pull my weights down just to give my arms some rest because I'm going to be doing two more, two more sets with those. All right, so seven calf raises with a nice pause at the top, really coming on to those toes. Six, seven. All right, toes pointed out. Boom. Again, guys, really think about getting that weight into those big toes so you're not turning your ankles out. Seven. Okay, toes pointed in. Boom. Full extension. You should feel, you know, the calves kind of warm right now. Yeah, it's a thing. Seven. All right. We have our dumbbells. Top to middle. Boom. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Bottom up. One. Two. Three. Four. Six, seven, all right. Here we go, all the way down. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Nice. All right, second set of half raises. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Those pointed out. One, two, three, four, five, six, half, seven. Yeah. Those pointed in. Woo! This is a burner for me. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Last set. For each of these guys, it's going to be our best set. Start at the top, midway. Two. Glad I'm just using these 10 pound weights because they're feeling like 100 pounds right now. Five, six, seven. Bottom up, one. Great for tank top. Season, guys. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Full up and down. Here we go. I don't know. I might be feeling a little bit warm right now. Those, those biceps. Four. Five. Five. 
six, seven, yeah. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Toes pointed out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Toes pointed in. Boom. Two, three, four. Six, seven, nice. All right, guys, we're going into our homework. Let's grab some water really fast. So for our homework, we have those five on each side of the ten of the T-spine push-ups. Now, if you need an elevated surface for your T-spine push-ups and you don't have it, then I'm just going to have you do T-spine planks. All right. So from the floor. Squeeze my push-ups, my shoulders still a little bit funky, so I'm going to do this elevated. Come down, then I rotate, all right? Doing your T-spine planks. We're here, rotating, keeping those elbows over those shoulders, right? So, whichever one you're doing right now, go ahead. You can do five on each side. So it's going to be a total of ten push-ups, ten planks, five rotations. Each side. Two, three, four, and five. Wow. Wow. All right. Go for it. Our deep squats with hamstring bites. So we widen out those feet. When you come into that deep squat, I'm going to touch those toes, rotate, rotate, and I'm going to lengthen those legs. Feel that stretch in the hamstring, pause at the top, come back down. Rotate, rotate, lengthen those legs. Three. That's five. Nice. And then we have our knee grabs, just ten knee grabs. guys so story of the day it's about just not rushing the training taking the time with the training it's just like when if we ever think that a fad diet is gonna work or some crash diet it's never gonna work because you're not changing the behaviors it has to be a slow change a slow increment even when we're asking warriors to work on their protein we're asking them to track their protein but we're asking them to make slight adjustments so that you're not just going from 20 grams of protein a day to 150 the next day. You have to make it slow because we want those behaviors to stick, right? Don't kill the golden goose, yeah? Make sure you're getting those golden eggs daily here at Training for Warriors Portland. Anyway, have a great day. Have a great weekend.